Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you for coming to my favorite things in the kitchen from Dollar Tree. I have never, never did a video like that, so I wanted to go ahead and show y'all what I like. You know, um, what I use all the time in my kitchen. So welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> you know, too silly. I love cooking and stuff like that. I love um when I do videos on cooking. I haven't done that in a while because I like being in the kitchen. I might have to have a recipe coming up. But anyways, if you don't know me, I'm Teresa. This is my channel, Just Teresa. Uh, Ella, Just Teresa. <laughs> I would love if you would tap on that subscribe, tap on that bell as well. So, I, you know, you'll know when I'm putting up videos. And one more tap for the thumbs up. All right, let's jump right into it. I'm going to go through this pretty quick. I don't want to hold y'all up. Let's go ahead and see some of my favorite things that I have to have from the Dollar Tree in my kitchen that are my favorites. We're going to start right off with the strainer. Hello, I use this thing every day. <laughs> it's just a basic strainer, but I love it. It's a dollar, okay? Um, I love my serving platter in the marble color. Look at this. When I serve, when I when I make something like if I got cheese and crackers and grapes, I want to put it on a platter. I don't want to just put it on a plastic plate or whatever. You know, if I make fried chicken, I put a paper towel here and line it up, line the chicken up and serve me and hubby with this. But I love it, and as you know from my hauls, I love the marble pattern. So not only do I use the marble tray, I use the bowls. We use these cereal bowls. We got four of these as well. It's in the same material. This is the coffee mugs, marble. I got four of those. They're on my coffee stand right here. Essential. I have to have it. Their serving spoons are absolutely great. And it's that same, you know, thing. They're steady. They're hard. I've been using this. I put it in hot pots all the time. Nothing has ever wavered on my um, utensils for, from um, Dollar Tree. So that, that's a must. Another thing that I've used so much that is finally starting to tear apart is the cutting board. <laughs> and it is also, if you pay attention, marble. But you see, I don't know if y'all can see, but right here, all of this, it has like a film over it. I've chopped on this so much that that is coming off. So my husband keeps trying to get me to throw it away, but you know what I do? I flip it over where there is no film. You gotta stay one up on them sometimes. I flip it over where there is no film and I use this side. Now, should I just throw it away or use this for a DIY? Because you can put some contact paper and cover this up. Um, Mod Podge, a picture in here. Look at me getting my Martha Stewart on. I told y'all I'm about to delve into doing some crafts, some DIYs. But you can turn this into a DIY. For me, I am going to look for another one because he is like, throw it away, throw it away. <laughs> but that tells you how much I use this bad boy. Okay? I love their little baby thongs. Tongs, I said thong, like thong, da thong, thong, thong. No, honey, tongs, okay? I love their little baby tongs. Um, I use it for different things. Now, you may be looking at this saying, this is too small. Like if I got cookies or something, I pick it up. If I'm frying some fr um, something small, I pick it up with this, you know. But if you got kids like five and under and you want to make them a kitchen of all the little stuff that you don't use anymore, why go buy them one of them fake kitchens that you get in the store that costs $80? Give them all the utensils and things that are not sharp that they can play with, some pots and pans that you don't mess with anymore, and let them feel official with these baby tongs, okay? But I personally use mine because there's no kids in this house. Um, I also have their big ones, just in case you're wondering. Yes, they do have the big ones. You pull this in and out. Let me see. Yep, and it opens it up. Love it, love it, love it. They have, um, you know you got to have a basting brush. I use this all the time when I'm basting something. One dollar silicone. They have a nice whisker. This is by Betty Crocker. Love this. Use it all the time when I'm doing homemade mashed potatoes. I've gotten quite lazy with that, though. It's just me and hubby. I throw some daggone potato, um potatoes in the microwave now <laughs> unless he be like wife i want the real deal you know this the the spatula thing i use this with everything i cook everything i stir everything i make if i'm making a cake i use this brownies i use this if, if i'm making real potatoes i use this if i'm frying something i want to move it around this so this is a must-have i also have the sifter 
Now, you can use this if you just want to get french fries out the bottom of the grease or whatever. But um, I use it a lot for sifting my flour before I use it to fry my chicken. So it's just lighter. When you sift flour, I don't know if y'all know that little tip sidebar. If you sift the flour, it comes out lighter. So then you coat your, you, you coat your chicken with it. But this is good for that. So this is a must have in this kitchen. Pizza cutter. So when we get pizza or we make homemade pizza, you got to have one of these. You always want um, kitchen scissors. These are scissors you don't use for any other part of the house. It's used for cutting fruits and vegetables if you need to. You can cut meat with this if you want. But you should always have a pair of scissors in your drawer in the kitchen. Okay? One dollar. Another essential in here is when, when everybody was still in offices, when I used to go into work, you know, for lunch, I would bring a salad and chicken and all that. And, and they don't have salad dressing. <laughs> so the condiment holder was my friend. I love this little condiment holder. I would fill it up with ranch dressing and bloop, 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 and just go to work, honey. But you can put mustard, ketchup, whatever it is. You can put it in this condiment holder. You guys let me know if you like any of this stuff. If you have all these essentials in your in your kitchen, and do you have the condiment holder? Because he's super cute. <laughs> of course you have to have measuring cups and measuring spoons. So I always get them from the Dollar Tree. The half the set is in the drawer. But I wanted to show you. Now, these are the Betty Crocker red ones. Now, Betty Crocker is the name brand one. But you got to be careful because the words on the Betty Crocker ones come off a lot. See that? It just wipes off over, over time. Now, Dollar Tree has their own with the, the amount, the measurements engraved into the handle. And you want to look for those, um, unless you just want it to match and you get this, because honestly, the words coming off doesn't hurt anything. Don't care. It, it didn't come off of this one. You know, the words are still there. But that's just a little FYI, just in case you do care. Because some people don't know if the words weren't there, you might not know that this is one tablespoon. If you're kind of new in the kitchen, you're not going to know that's a tablespoon. You need the words. Or if you're teaching your kids how to cook, you need to get the one with the words engraved in the handle. Much better for that. We, we don't want them to not know what the measurements are, okay? So that's an essential in this household. Another thing um, that I have that I absolutely love and use all the time is their small glass bowls. They come in a set of four. I got three of them right here. I love them. They are perfect size to me. If you're doing like tacos, you can put the taco sauce in here. You could put some cheese if it's only a couple of you. I typically use it because I love dipping stuff. If I, if I need ketchup, it's going in the bowl. You know what I mean? I want to dip it. But I do make a... Um, Dipping sauce for my chicken that is amazing. I love eating it with my chicken. So I always make that mixture right here in this bowl, stir it up, and dip my little chicken in my little chicken dipping sauce. Um, I never did a video on it, but if you want to know, let me know in the comments. It's just like two or three ingredients or something. It's not even hard. It takes two seconds. But it's so good, it just makes chicken next level, baby. But that's my bowls. Love the bowls. As you all know, I've said it in a lot of videos, I eat a lot of fruit and a lot of vegetables, potatoes if we have to make potatoes for something. I like to wash them all, which we all should be doing, but I love my vegetable fruit brush. This thing really has a good grit to it. So you get your potato and you scrub it with this, it gets in the cracks and the crevices, honey. You need this when you're washing your vegetables and your fruits. It's green, silicone, solid. Great to have. A must have in the kitchen. All right. Now let me show y'all um, a medium sized bowl I got from Dollar Tree. But I tell you, I use it for everything. If I'm mixing a cake, it goes in here. Anything I need to mix, brownies, cookies, whatever, it goes in this medium basic white bowl. I love this bowl. Use it all the time. Comes from Dollar Tree. Why not? I have these containers. I love the containers that snap into place. They can't be the kind where the top just sits on it because I drop everything. It has to be sealed, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. So it has to be sealed. Okay, see how I just pulled that up? Boom, boom, boom. 
put it back on, that click tells you, you ain't dropping that, okay? Booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> All right. Now, here you go. And this one's the matching one. If you want to organize or whatever you want to do, you can put it in this one. I tend to put my grapes in here. See how the cap is? It keeps it nice and secure. Again, it's one of those that snap. Nothing is falling out of this thing. Trust me. And the fact that it matches is a bonus. Now, these are just my favorite things. Y'all put in the, in, the, in, the, in the comments what y'all like, what you see, what you have, what you don't have, what you're going to go get, whatever it is. You know, talk to me. Talk to me. All right. Now, the last two things that I have, it wasn't that bad. We're only in maybe 12 minutes. See you know what I'm saying? Oh, get into that, y'all. Just Teresa, at Just Teresa, make sure you subscribe to me. All right. So in a, a haul that wasn't that long ago, I showed y'all my baskets because I was going to organize my pantry. I was tired of everything being thrown in there willy nilly. Okay. So here is one of them. This black and white basket is everything to me. See the handles? It got two handles. I got all my little stuff in here. Love, love, love. Like I got some smoothie mix. I got my Uncle Ben's rice. I got my favorite trail mix from Dollar Tree, by the way, if you didn't see that video. This is the Tropical Fruit Trail Mix. It has banana chips, raisins, papaya, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. It is four packs in here. Love it. Now, instead of it just being thrown in the cabinet, it is all neatly placed in this basket. What, let me know what y'all think about this basket and what do you think about this idea? I put it in there, nice and neat. Good to go. Now, I also have the matching basket. This one is rectangular shaped. See that? And in that, and it's got two handles. And in that video, I was talking about, you know, getting this all in the pantry. So both of these go in my pantry. This one, I keep it stocked with, I love the Lipton Ice Sweet Tea that I buy from Dollar Tree. So I got three of those packs left. I got these lemon cookie mix from there. That's in here. Instead of being thrown in the cabinet, I mean the pantry, and I got some brownies that I got from Dollar Tree. And I got the Dollar Tree version of classic cheesecake mix. Now, all of that is in there much neater now. My, my hubby loves the baskets because he says it just looks so much better. It's so much more put together. Like, if, if you have clutter in your life, it's going to make you more stressed out, if y'all don't know that. Decluttering your home is a lot, lot better. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. That's all I have. That's all I got. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, you guys. Um, I'll be watching the comments. Do me a favor and make sure that you hit the thumbs up on this video. As you know, I am coming coming down the pipe on my watch hours. I'm about seven, eight hundred, about eight hundred away. So if you watch this video to the very end, thank you. Thank you so much. If you did not, please go back and watch the whole thing. Watch the replay if you came in on the end, okay? <laughs> if you came on the end of this premiere, I'm going to need you to go back out, come back in, and watch the replay, all right? And I just got, I'm got more of these coming because I don't do a lot of the Dollar Tree stuff that I love. So this is the kitchen one. I'll be doing one for the beauty and bath, beauty and bath. I'll be doing what I use to organize my bedroom closets. Um, I just got so much more coming. I'm super excited about it. This was my favorite things in the kitchen. I will be doing one where the things that I don't like from Dollar Tree, the thumbs down. Okay. So I'm going to get that one together as well. And as you know, on my channel, I have brought forth Sipping and Small Talk. By the time you've seen this video, I probably would have already had my first interview. So on that side of things, it's going to be me interviewing people, me bringing up panels. I'm going to be doing um, movie reviews, television shows that I love. I'm going to review it all under the Sipping and Small Talk umbrella, you know, because I've never done those things on my channel. So that's exciting for me. I just didn't want to set up another channel because I'm not even where I want to be on this one. So it will basically just be another thumbnail, <laughs> you know, so Definitely, definitely look out for that. Uh, um, and then when I when I have anything sipping a small talk, I put it in a playlist so it'll be easy for y'all to find. 
But I'm excited about that. Now, on the Just Teresa side, I'll still be doing hauls, product reviews, um, lives. I go live all the time, and I'll be doing trivias there, and just so much fun. So I hope you all decide to stay. It is holiday time, so Merry Christmas. Have a great month of December. All of my information, including my P.O. box, if you want to send me a card or a nice little Christmas gift, whatever it is, I would love it. My P.O. box is in the description below. My Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. I would love that. Um, in your comments, I'm going to be looking for them. Thank you so much for sticking around for 15 minutes with me. I love, love, love y'all. You know what I always say? Don't look back because you ain't going that way. Bye.